Next, commitment. I, I, I love this last part because commitment always boils down to your why. Why do you want to be successful? Why do each one of you, yeah, you get to the NBA, five, six hundred thousand minimum, you know, you make a big time contract. When you get to the NBA, but, but why? You want to get a house for your mom? You want to make a lot of money? You want to buy a nice car, nice clothes? Why? When your why is big enough, the obstacle will cease to exist. Your why is what's going to carry you. Your why is what's going to get you from point A to point B. Now, everybody has their own why. My why is simple, right? Some of it boils down to my parents and what they did to sacrifice. But more than anything for me, my why is I want to glorify my Savior, Jesus Christ. You have a right to choose your own why. So when, you, when I talk about NBA athletes that I manage money for, the, the one thing that, that really challenges them more than anything is when they see that check cut in half. So let's break it down, right? Let's say you get a $10 million, $10 million contract. How much is that after taxes? Anybody know? After taxes, best case, you're going to take home $6 million. So let's say you're prudent and you live on a half a million dollars a year, <laughs> which is tough to do if you're in a West Coast city or New York. But let's say you live on a half a million dollars a year. So over those four years, that's $2 million. Now you got $4 million left. And let's say, oh, by the way, I want to take care of mom for the rest of my life. So you want to give her $5,000 a month. You know, just take care of mama. Give her $5,000 a month. You got to make $3 million just to take care of mom to pay her those $5,000 a month for the next 30 years. Real talk. That's why 68% of bankrupt were broke within two years of when they retire. Work ethic, attitude, and commitment. You take care of those three things and you're going to be just fine.